How's it going, Ram fans? I'm Sydney Wicker here with Jason Ortiz, and we're out here at the Thomas and Mack Center in Las Vegas where the Colorado State Rams are getting ready to take on the Boise State Broncos. Jason, the matchups between these two teams have been very interesting and very exciting, needless to say. What are you expecting to see in today's game? So I'm expecting to actually see a really good game today. You're expecting because Boise lost on their home floor, CSU lost on their home floor. So now that you're on a neutral site, it's going to be who shoots the ball better. And for CSU, you're going to have to limit the outside shots that Boise State is taking. Justinian Jessup, he's one of the best three-point shooters in the Mountain West. So if you limit the shots he's taking and then shut down Alex Hobbs on the inside, then you're probably going to have a really good game today. Yeah, for sure. I know the last time these two teams play, Colorado State came out the winner, but the game before that was a really close game, only mm. by a two-point difference where mm. Boise State was able to take the win in Moby Arena. But I think one interesting player to watch out in today's game is Chris Martin. He mm. averaged 13 points in both games, yeah. one at home and then one on the road. So I'm curious to see how he does, but Nico mm. Carvacho has been a threat in all of these games. Yep. So we'll have to see how he does in his rebounding game. It's really hard to shut that kid down. Oh yeah, especially for for Boise State. They don't have the size that matches up with CSU. Nico Carvacho is just going to be an animal on the inside and if Boise State's going to want to have a chance, they're more than likely going to have to drive on Carvacho and try and get him into foul trouble because if not then Carvacho's just going to sit in the paint and eat up all day. Yeah, for sure. And I know freshman Adam Thistlewood mm -hmm. has kind of come off the bench and been a real powerhouse for the yep. CSU Rams. And the last time they played him, he actually ended up having 19 points for the CSU team and was one of their leading scorers. So I'm really curious to see how this team does and to watch them play against each other. But it's going to be a close matchup for sure. Oh, yeah. Today is going to be, if this isn't the best game of the tournament, then it might just be the championship game. So looking out for Boise State, you're going to have to, I mean, Alex Hobbs, that is the biggest shutdown you have to have besides Justinian and Jessup. Alex Hobbs was Mountain West Sixth Man of the Year. And if you want to have a win today for CSU, two guys you got to shut down or Justin and Jessup and Alex Hobbs. Yes, I'm curious to see how this CSU defense kind of turns around yep. and see what they can do. But I know Nico Medved, the head coach, he's really a powerhouse and he's been motivational for this team this entire year. It's definitely been a switch around from the mm -hmm. team that they were last year. So I'm curious to see what kind of energy he gets into his team and mm -hmm. see how they deliver on the court today. But that game is getting ready to tip off. Jason and I are super excited and can't wait to see what happens. But for more updates, be sure to follow us on Twitter at sports underscore CTV. From Thomas and Mac Center, I'm Sydney Wicker here with Jason Ortiz.